Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melanie and today I'm here to do a quick review of the December 2022 Beauty Heroes box featuring two products from Josh Rosebrook. Um, if you know, I have two newborn babies, uh, baby girls, and they're right behind me and they're grunting and they're getting really close to the time where I'm going to begin feeding them. So I'm going to try to get this done, but you'll probably hear some grunting and different sounds because they're stirring. The ladies are a stirring. Anyways, so I have been really happy with this December box with Josh Rosebrook's products from Beauty Heroes. So I want to tell you about them briefly and just tell you about my experience with them. So the first one is the Hero product and it is the Ultra Peptide Cream, which is a facial serum concentrate. And it's 22 milliliters and it's a value of $60 and it is supposed to be line diffusing skin plumping and it's supposed to offer a sensorial satisfaction of a thick cream with the potency and rapid excuse me rapid absorption of a treatment serum it has ceramides um a fatty acid complex of olive marula tamanu baobab and sesame oils and it has niacinamide in it but the most important thing they say is the five peptides that make this product a work of art um, they have plant-based polypeptides from quinoa and pea, which are clinically proven to promote production of collagen and elastin for a visible plumping effect. While tripeptide 1 and tripeptide 7 signal optimal cellular function, and hexapeptide 11 is shown to increase collagen synthesis and even skin tone. It also has a scent profile that marries the notes of jasmine with a, cis, uh, a hint of citrus. And the superpower ingredients that I mentioned some of them, but that they list are biometric peptide complex, ceramides, fatty acid repair complex, niacinamide, and saccharomyces ferment filtrate. So this is the ultra peptide cream, nice like glass jar, which I like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You can see I have dug in a bit and used it a decent amount this month. And I think it's really beautiful. It's, it has like a floral scent. I mean, they say jasmine with a hint of citrus. I don't necessarily, I, I get more like jasmine. Normally I'm not a huge fan of jasmine, but whatever this is, I uh, like it. So um, I just wanted to show you like, that's what the consistency looks like. So it's really pretty. Um, it's, it's sort of like a gel that goes onto the skin and it just feels really nice. So I've been using it um, some nights as my moisturizer and it's really nice. It just smells nice, it feels really good, um, feels nice on the skin. Like I've just been really happy with the scent of it, the texture of it and you know, the job it's doing moisturizing. I'm here in the winter and it's been in New England and it's been cold. Um, I've been mainly indoors in the past month because of having new babies. I haven't been going out a ton, um, but it's done a great job of like keeping my skin hydrated and it's been such a nice experience using it, you know, throughout this month um, of getting low sleep and just round the clock diaper changing and feeding babies and stuff like that. Uh, it's been pretty to use this at the times when I've been able to indulge. So. I definitely recommend this and I think it's really a nice noteworthy product. I can't say that I've noticed any like plumping effects or anything like that, but that being said, um, I have not been like looking for it. I am not having any time to like stand in front of the mirror much. So I'm just, if I get the chance to do my skincare routine in the morning or the night or both, and I get to use this and stuff, I've just like really enjoyed it. So I think it's a really beautiful product. The other product in this box is the Advanced Hydration Mask. It's one and a half ounces with a value of $70. And it has shea butter, mango seed butter, candelilla wax, a synergy of rich plant oils, including jojoba seed, evening primrose and avocado, which deliver protective, reparative, and nutritive support to the skin. Uh, there's a blend of botanicals, including turmeric root, marshmallow root, black cohosh, Eye Bright, Licorice, Goji Berry, Milk Thistle, Dandelion, and Ginger, which create an antioxidant shield that protects oxidative stress and promotes optimal cell function. 
It has polysaccharide rich Indian senna seed extract, which is a vegan alternative to hyaluronic acid that supports the skin's ability to retain moisture. And blue tansy and blue chamomile lend this mask its beautiful blue tint and its unmistakable scent. It's an all weather moisturizing mask, which is effective for chronically dry and sensitive skin, yet so biocompatible it can be used daily to elevate skin vitality. Use as directed or overnight for slug worthy saturation. I don't think I've left it on overnight, although I might have one night, but I've been using it as a mask. The superpower ingredients are blue chamomile, blue tansy, Indian senna seed extract, marshmallow root, shea butter, and turmeric root. <laughs> Sorry, I like just started getting stuffed up like during this video. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the advanced hydration mask and I've used this multiple times this month as well. It definitely smells like blue tansy. That's what it looks like. It is a beautiful color. Um, and so for me, it's funny because I didn't really need another moisture mask in my, um, like in my products, like in my inventory, because I have a moisture mask from Live Botanical, which is, which is the Tidal Moon moisture mask. And it also has some blue tansy, but it, it is very different scent. And the textures are somewhat different, but it's, they're similar masks, but different in particularly scent. Um, but otherwise they do pretty much the same thing. I have to say though, for the moment in my life of this month being like the first month with the babies, um, a moisture mask is great because what I've been doing is a lot of times I'm showering right before I start their feeding schedule, which if I'm doing it on my own can take up to like an hour and 15 minutes between like diaper changes and blowouts and then nursing and then more diaper changes and then a bottle feed of milk and then diaper and then start with the second one, second baby, and do the whole thing over again. So my point is if I take my shower right before and then I just do a moisture mask, which I've been doing this here and there, I can just leave it on my face for the entire feeding process. And it's not like a active, you know, mask where it's like burning my skin or like on too long or anything. If you keep a moisture mask on for like an hour and 15 minutes or whatever the time frame is, no problem. So that's what I did today. I got out of the shower, put the mask on, did the whole feeding routine. And then when I was done and I had a moment, I just cleaned it all off and then did my quick skincare. And when I did do my skincare today, I did use the ultra peptide cream as my moisturizer. And just because I knew I would be filming today, I wanted to like refresh my memory, even though I've been using them pretty frequently this month, which is awesome. So I also think like the colors and the textures of both are just really pretty. Let me show you the texture of the hydration mask. So it's like a um, kind of firm, but pliable. So it's a pliable. Um, mask, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and it smells so nice. So anyways, it just goes on. It's like when you put it on and you're, you're wearing it for a while, you know, your face looks a little bit greasy. So, um, whatever. And, uh, it's just like a nice feeling and everything. And this is what the two colors look like, which I think are so pretty. I love those. <laughs> I just got to enjoy the colors and the feel and the scent and everything. It's such a sensorial experience, skincare. I think if you're a skincare lover, that's such a big, I mean, results are great, but for me, it's all about like the sensorial experience, especially at a time in life where I'm, you know, tired and a lot's being asked of me physically with the babies and everything. Um, to have those moments of skincare to make you feel kind of pampered or like more like yourself is really special. So this has been a great December discovery for me. And I haven't used a ton of Josh Rosebrook. I think I've used his hydrating accelerator. I used one of those, um, but I think that's the only, oh no, and I tried his um, Vital Balm Cream. My friend gave me a sample of it and that was really nice. So, so far what I've used of his has been really nice. So that being said, um, the December Beauty Heroes box for 2022 featuring Josh Rosebrook's Ultra Peptide Cream and Advanced Hydration Mask have been great and I'm a big fan of both of them. I would absolutely love to know your thoughts if you got this box, um, you know, if you're enjoying it or how you used it and stuff like that. Any comments or if any of you have any comments on Josh Rosebrook's other products or anything like that, I would love to chat with you in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it helpful. Click the subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted when the next video comes out. And uh, you should see a video, see some videos from me soon, probably 
one at the beginning of January about the January Beauty Heroes box and then um, some finale videos of like my project pan and some beginning videos of like a new project pan and everything. So hope all is well with you and thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.